Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to curate tailored experiences on dashboards for your end users. Present serves as a workspace for crafting data-driven narratives and customizing the user experience on dashboards. When the user navigates from visualize to present, the user lands on what's called an auto mode. Auto mode essentially tries to keep the content and the order of the canvases in sync with Visualize while providing a lot of properties to define the end user experiences on the dashboard. Now, let's just say that I want to change the style of Canvas navigation from Flimstrip to a traditional tab style navigation. I can choose bottom tabs. And I still want to keep the filter bar hidden from the consumer users. This is the top level header bar. And I want to keep the full interactivity off, on. At the canvas level, I get to choose specific options that I want to display for my end users for the visualization toolbar. So in this example, the consumer users can change the visualization type. They can maximize the visualization in the canvas. And there are specific actions for the map visualization that will be exposed when you hover over on a map visualization. More importantly, this visualization menu is the critical piece of the interaction control that allows the author to define and set specific interaction patterns for each of the canvas on the dashboard. While in auto mode, the author cannot remove any of the visualizations. Like I said, the content is meant to be in sync with the content in Visualize. Now let me go to Visualize and add a new canvas. And let me just drop in a quick visualization on this canvas. And the user navigates to present now. And because present is set to be in auto mode, the canvas is automatically synced to the presentation flow of this dashboard. While in auto mode, the author can only do specific actions for on the canvases that are participating in the presentation flow. As you can see, this menu allows me to only hide the canvas. So let me go ahead and hide this canvas. And as an author, I cannot change the order of the canvas in present because auto mode is trying to keep everything in sync with Visualize. Now, let me go ahead and save this dashboard and let's preview the dashboard as a consumer user would see. And you can see that the navigation style is now changed to a bottom tabs. The fourth tab that we added to present, which was later hidden, is now not shown for the consumer user. And any specific interaction controls on the visualization is based on what the author set at each of the canvas level. Now let's go back into the edit mode and look at what the author can do in manual mode of the present experience. So let me click on edit. User is in present. To change from auto to manual mode, user simply clicks on the button on the footer of the dashboard to change from auto to manual, at which point a warning is thrown to the user basically telling the user that uh, by changing to manual mode the content is going to be out of sync with visualize so let's acknowledge with uh, hitting the ok while in manual mode the properties to define the interaction controls and the navigation styles for the workbook and the canvases does not change so what's different in manual mode is the author can change the presentation flow of the dashboard for their end user experiences now let's just say that the author wants to start by telling the story using the customer data as a narrative so they can reorder the canvas. The author can duplicate canvases and change the content. Let's just say that I want to duplicate this canvas. Now let's navigate to the canvas properties for the specific canvas. And you can see that in addition to controlling the interaction patterns and defining the visualization toolbar for the canvas, author now has uh, additional properties to control the show or hide of certain visualizations on the canvas. Now, in this example, if I want to hide, let's say, say this filter bar, and if I need to reorder the layout of the visualizations in the canvas, the author can do so. And you can also see that there's a little asterisk on this duplicated canvas that basically tells me that um, this is a modified canvas. And if I were to reset the adjustments, uh, I can do so by clicking on the menu of that specific canvas, hit on reset adjustments, which uh, at which point is going to basically resync with uh, its base canvas. In addition to uh, duplicating canvases, the author can also rename uh, the name of the canvas, provide a custom name. At any point, if the author wants to change from manual to auto mode, they can do so by clicking on the same button on the footer. And uh, 
the warning message will basically tell the user that certain customizations that the author has done in manual mode will be overwritten and everything will now resync to the visualized content. Let's just click OK. So then the author goes back to auto mode and all of the canvases, the order of the canvases in the presentation layout, the content, everything is now resynced to visualize. So in summary, the new present experience allows the author to curate tailored end user experiences on dashboard using the auto or manual mode experience that we have exposed in present. Thank you for watching this video.